Hello and welcome everyone. Happy New Year today, January 1st, 2016. We are here. Adios to 2015, okay? All that's left behind us. I'm doing the zodiac readings for the earth signs today. I just dropped the Capricorn earth sign video and now I'm working with Taurus. Taurus earth sign uh, ruled by Venus and you who follow me know I love our Venus, planet Venus. And also your trump card is the Hierophant. So your major Kana is the high priest slash pope, you can say, and he has to work with, you know, the governments, and he has to work with the people, and hopefully he does it in, uh, in fair and honest ways. But yes, we are here in 2016, and I chose uh, to work with the earth signs today. I chose to work with the Book of Thoth, okay, because I... Uh, you know, this is about the Egyptian tarot, Aleister Crowley's Book of Thoth. And I, you know, totally feel that's all Earth-based scenario. The Egyptians totally built their pyramids here on planet Earth, Mother Earth. And I continued also to bring out the tarot, the sacred tarot. I'm working with, oh, I have my camera in a different angle now, so the sun, I got to pay attention because I'm trying to get my microphone to work better. Maybe, yeah, there you go. So how I had the camera position before, I, could, I knew how it worked with the sun, but now i got to pick up the whole new thing. And it's, yeah, so we're going to work with the Sacred Tarot, A Celtic Pagan Journey via Anna Franklin. And I also am choosing to work with Stephen D. Farmer's um, Earth Magic. Okay, I apologize now. I really got to work with how the sunlight is going to work here. Okay, we've got Earth Magic. And for everyone, every zodiac sign, all 12, I'm working with the Oracle of the Archangels. Let me see. Hold on. I'm so sorry. i got to figure this out now. Okay. There we go. All right. So i got to bring it at that angle. All right. So we're working with the Archangels. And for the Capricorn friends, they receive Spread Your Wings. And it was Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect, and you are ready to soar, to fly and soar, right? Beautiful. So we'll put it back in the deck. And let's see what this 2016, I, I wanted to um, upload these videos already, but didn't get a chance. And I figured, okay, let's just make it happen today. And uh, so far, it's just coming about, you know, working with that imagination, working with your intuition, okay? So let's see what the Taurus family's going to have to. And this is a uh, reading for the month of January 26th for Taurus, and that could be your sun sign, your moon sign, or your rising ascendant, okay? And uh, Taurus, all about that second house. And that's about money and possessions and values, you know, our resources. But our resources keep saying, yes, um, prosperity, abundance. So let's work with the divine. The divine has, has knowledge for us, and we have to gain it through intuition, through our intuition. Okay? So let's, let's definitely work with our intuition, get out on in nature always consider now looking up look at the up the sky I really think uh, if we start tapping nature as we've been talking about for years now many of us grounding with mother earth we've been the hippies were talking about that right and then when we talk about ancient wisdom it's all about goddess related the earth air fire water all that uh, Let's really see what can happen because so many of us are now getting it, getting it. And I think it's very positive, positive. Okay, and now working with the sacred circle, you know, if we embrace Mother Earth, she will embrace us with much abundance 
harvest as she has for millennia. So let's just let's just make it positive for all of us. Okay. All right. So let's see how the reading comes forward for January 2016 for our Taurus friends. Okay. And may all your wishes be fulfilled this year. Much blessings, brightest blessings to all of you. And we have the Princess of Swords come through. And intriguing that the Queen of Swords came through at the last read, too. Okay, hold on. Let's see how we're going to play this. I'm sitting at a different angle, too, so it looks dark to me. And Maybe it doesn't look dark to you, but it looks dark to me. Okay, hold on. I just thought I had it. Okay, let's do that. The Princess of Swords. So we've got some young court blood here, female energy, all right, tapping that Venus prowess, and it's all that mental aptitude we want to have, all right, but the queen is all about imagination, and that's what it read, that, uh, you know, to make sure that you're working with the intuition, your imagination, so that you can manifest what you believe in and long for and then you you know as you pray you work with the higher divine and then it all comes together so that's very positive coming from what we're reading for the earth signs because they want you to have that mental aptitude that clarity okay so the earth signs are sort of working right now that they want you to come out from the get out with thinking the proper thoughts, positive thoughts, okay? The Queen of Swords is all about positive thoughts, imagination, intuition, working it right, working it right so that the manifestation comes through. And that's how the intuition works with all that, the channeling. Uh, but it's for the manifestation to come about, okay? And here we are, new beginnings, brand new, new year, brand new today. So Keep your thoughts positive that this year is going to be the year when I, and go forward with it. Don't don't even deny yourself, okay? And then we have the Four of Swords. Boy, everything's been swords so far. Truce, and we have the truce. And the Four of Swords is usually you see the the warrior, the warrioress uh, coming back from battle and taking a rest. And, and just taking it easy at the moment because there's more to come, okay? There's more to work forward to, towards. But right now, they want our thoughts uh, sort of at a restful place, okay? Like they're, you're taking a rest. But we were just speaking in the last uh, Earth reading, too, that um, we're, we want to align with taking that daily hour meditative moment it came out in their reading that that's what we have to do okay so um, we're just going to share it here too that now that this card has come out for the Taurus earth sign that yes our mental thoughts we have to keep them at bay at rest quiet power quiet power so that we can manifest what is coming okay and the princess of swords is here saying oh yeah I'm going to get it I'm going to get, you see her, she's ready for that action. And she knows what, where, when, why, and who is it. <laughs> yes, she's ready, and she is looking up, okay? Uh, it looks so dark here. I apologize. I just want to get this right. I just started working at this angle so you can hear my voice better. Okay, so very good. But but here we are taking our baby steps, okay, Baby stealth steps. That's a new theme. <laughs> Another theme. Baby stealth steps. Okay. We're going to be very secure in our position wherever we do. But mentally, very good. It's already coming through that they want us to be mentally aptitude. And isn't that lovely? Harmony music. Beautiful. Ah. Uh, if anybody knows me, I love the music. Yes, I do. And I think that also brings messages um, our way. Uh, we harmonize with the tones. And I, I truly believe that when we hear music or listen to music, 
And some of us, even when there's no music, like I can hear music, you know, like I can hear music tones. So, and that's like clear audience. So this is what we need to also, and I, so I need to practice with that because I do. I can hear tones of music when there's no music playing. So it's like, but I have to practice it. So again, but this is more like even, you know, putting your children in bed with baby lullabies or playing some nice relaxing music, surf or ocean sounds, nature music, just to bring that harmony. And oh boy, yes, uh, you know, well, as they say, music calms the savage beasts, right? And that is true. <clears throat> it's so wonderful when you just can relax and rest. So, you know, put on some resting, relaxing, meditative music. There's so much of it on YouTube. Wonderful. You know, one, sometimes just for an hour. They've got some that play for three hours, eight hours. It's all very, and it's, it's, uh, uh, it's scientifically proven how it works with the, with, I, I don't even want to explain it, but it, it just is very helpful and, and soothes the soul. Dream time creation. Beautiful boy. Look at the colors popping on this card here. Okay. Yes. Nice, 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 nice. Dream time. We were just talking about taking that rest and taking those naps and taking that dream time and getting that journal to, to write down because this is what they want. They want us now mentally, mentally to focus on what we are wanting to desire. Okay, and because they know we're working with them, you see, it's not like you're oblivious. You're asking there. You're literally call talking to your angels that came in just recently, also in another reading. They want to talk, you know, talk to your angels. Talk to your angels. Okay, get grounded on Earth. Get outdoors, and also, you know, like let them know I want the messages to come. Okay, that's how you have to speak to them. It's just how it is. This looks like a Aboriginal uh, kind of drawing here. I truly appreciate. Uh, I apologize for this. I'm gonna have to look at these videos now and see because I'm trying to make them that you can hear me. But if the light's not working on how I position the the camera here, I have to figure it out. The dream time creation. That's all about your imagination, my dears. Okay imagination intuition all right pay attention to your intuition that's that's like another big theme pay attention to your intuition be playful health and healing it's all coming together it's beautiful keep your health the healing then the intuition comes and then it's that body mind soul that we're trying to bring together you know helping heal that past, present, mo future kind of scenario to manifest the proper future for us. Wow, Knight of Wands, how cool. You know how I love this one. Yes, I do. His energy. He's got this young blood, that fire spirit. The Ace of Wands came up for the Earth signs already. Wonderful. And that's about going for it. No doubt about it. With spirit. You know, trusting in spirit. Going for it. Aligning with it. Look at him, he's, he's going there. He's got his fire wand with him. Let's see what I'm going to do. Get the fire wand in him. Let's see. There it is. Okay. Yep. He's the adventurer, no doubt. He does what he wants, but he does it well. <laughs> yes, he does. And that's what, what we want to attain. That, that uh, assertive attitude. Cause you know you're you're walking with the light, okay? You got the fire with your spirit. Yes, beautiful. Okay, wonderful. So let's bring that kind of, you know, male active. He's totally oh boy that one, that male active. Oh boy, and we have the web here, number eleven. Okay, I'm assuming this is the justice card for this deck. I got to look, but it's called the web. And it's number 11 because we just had in the other earth sign, Capricorn read the justice card came out, Major Arcana. 
uh, as 11, as 11, because we've talked about this before. The Justice card can be 11 or 8. Excuse me, the top deck came out number 8 is Justice, but a Justice can be 11 or 8. So let's see which 11 is for her in in this sacred circle. And we have the web. Let me see. It has to be, let's see, because number 10 is the wheel. Yeah, and so if number 8 is strength, then this is justice. And justice was also called adjustment. So let me see. I just want to confirm this because, I, okay. The warrior is number eight. Yeah, warrior is number eight. The psychic warrior, body, mind, spirit, and and uh, to harmonize and strength. Okay, so this is so the justice card now for the earth signs has come out twice. Okay, so they they definitely are telling us, uh, Taurus here, that whatever you had going on in 2015, it, everything is going to come out in a just way. All right, even if it's with court papers, it will be, you know, justly brought together. Okay? Let's see. All right. And the web card relates to your sense of capital S self. Okay? I'm trying for you all to, I apologize again. I, I said this is my first time. There we go. The web card relates to your sense of self, the realization of yourself as an individual, but as an individual who is nevertheless connected with the planet you live on and the other life that inhabits it. It relates to the development of personal morality and con conscience, an inner sense of right and wrong. You must recognize that your actions and words do not exist in isolation, but also affect others. Being polite and charming because you want people to like you is not enough. You must deal with people fairly and sensitively because those qualities are meaningful and important to you. Okay, dealing with people fairly and sensitively. It is the card of the weaver goddess who spins the thread of life and the pattern of fate. Her web connects all things in a net of power and your actions vibrate the web affecting all that lies along the thread. Through the web, every action will eventually return to you. And this is what, you know, we've always said, you get what you give, pretty much, people. You know, that's how it works. This is what is meant by the pagan law of threefold return. Your actions will return to you threefold, amplified, amplified by the web, whether they are actions for good or ill. In other words, you construct your own fate and are the instrument of your own justice. When the web card appears in your spread, it is telling you that you must make a decision based on your own sense of what is right rather than listening to the advice of others. Any action you take must be based on careful deliberation, considering its far-reaching effects on yourself and others. Depending on surrounding cards, the web card can indicate that truth and justice will prevail in a dispute, perhaps even in a legal action. Well, that's just amazing, really, that um, back to back uh, from the Book of Thoth and now the Sacred Circle, the justice card has come through. Okay? So, for you earth signs, definitely um, there's coming justice for you. And that's wonderful. I mean, I that's that's very positive. And back to back like this major arcana uh, from I'd say two major decks. Okay, uh, that's a positive sign for any of you who are seeking even legal justice. Hang in there. Hang in there. Okay, because something is definitely coming for you in in positive way. Okay, so let's see. I do want to read about um, the dream time because dream time has been coming out a lot and a lot of things. 
uh, that I've been reading about, okay, not on my channel per se, but that I've come across something and it, it speaks a lot about dreams, your dreams, your dreams. So uh, I, I'm curious to what they're saying with this. And now that for the earth sign has been coming up, you know, the creativity and harmonizing and nature and justice is on the table and having your mental, it's pretty amazing how back to back these earth readings have come out that it's about that achieving mental glory okay get out of the funk so let's see and then achieving you know we're going to take that rest with the four of swords too okay so we already know we're we're going to just keep the chatter out of the brain and the dream time and see the aboriginals believed a lot in the dream time so let's see what um this this is obviously a very important card for the Aborigines of Australia, the dream time is the place before time and outside of time in which ancestral spirit beings come to earth and gave all of life its form. Once the work was done, these spirits remained in the very forms they created, including the animals, hills, the animals, hills, stars, and other features of the land and continue to be present today. The dream time is an individual's or group's spiritual template, including songs and stories that have been handed down for at least 60,000 years, although Aborigines would say that they've existed since the beginning of time. In one such tradition, there's a creation story involving the Dejiridu, which is essentially a hollowed out log that emits a drowning sound when played. Can you see that, my darling? I see the little bunny in the middle. Okay. In this card, we see that as the spirit man plays the didgeridoo, the world is sung into existence. Note the various beings and colors and structures of the land that are being created, all carrying spirit that has been breathed into them. Okay, and, and see, that's so wonderful to, I see the faces now, and I see the animals, the snakes, the, yes, uh, because spirit, we, we really want to start talking to the ancestors more too, okay? That's really what we're going to try to tap, the ancestors working with spirit, okay? That's how it has to be, really, if you want to just become a spiritual guided individual. Close your eyes, tune into your breathing, and allow yourself to sink deeply into the heart of the living creation that you are. As you notice your breath becoming steady and slightly deeper than usual, observe the urge within you that is beginning to come forth in some creative action. Pay attention to any images, sounds, or feelings that beckon your awareness and there you will find the key as to the manner in which to express this magnificent pulse. Your breath is the crossover between spirit and physical reality. Okay, and we talk about deep breathing a lot too. You know, don't do your deep breathing, especially when you're going to take these hour, you know, meditative moments or naps, whatever you want to call them, those rest breaks that you work with spirit, spiritual rest breaks, okay? Breathing comfortably and steadily helps you align yourself with spirit, which then brings a clearer focus on what creative expression is preparing to be birthed through and from you. Discard any habitual thought patterns that would prevent the manifestation of what you are being prompted to bring forth. Allow yourself to take risks with the self-expression and all of creation will smile upon you. Okay. Well, I think that's wonderful. I really do. I think this really tapped it for us, Taurus. No doubt. No doubt. And you guys are all about, you know, bringing in that that Venus kind of Pope feeling, you know, being in love, marriage, love, 
the romance and, and just family, you know, it's everything. It's beautiful. I really like that. And 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 since music is is universal, we'll read the universal card because uh, if some of us could really, I know we've been talking about it on my channel for about a year now about taking that uh, half hour, hour a day if you can, to to quiet the chatter out. And there's beautiful, soothing music, calming music. If you, if you want to just at least have something playing in the background, okay, instead of total silence, that will, will keep you calm and might open up, you know, the channeling process. Harmony, music, ah, music, what would life be like without it? It's not something that we humans invented. Rather, music has been around since time began, subtle and dramatic textures of sound have existed as long as there have been beings that could hear them. For our ancient ancestors, paying close attention to sounds, rhythms, and vibrations from the environment helped them survive. Of course, it has also been compelling for humanity to create music through our own voice and musical instruments. As we have evolved, so have the instruments we've created some of which, when played, mimic the music of the natural world. Where there's, mere, excuse me, where there's more than one instrument played or two or more people singing, the resulting harmonies blend into one unified sound that is pleasing to the ear. If the notes are out of sync, there's a notable dissonance that can be disturbing. Here we see two women with stringed instruments creating a harmonious blend. They're so absorbed in their playing that they appear to be in a trance, as if they're simply allowing the music to flow through them. This is a time of considerable harmony for you, one where the various elements in your life are flowing together smoothly. Just as in musical harmony, it is the interface of these elements that merge into a cycle of symmetry and balance that evokes feelings of harmony. The challenge is to sustain this inner accord even when there is considerable dissonance outside of your own mind, heart, and body. And that's what I was suggesting. You know, if you could put on some of this soothing, calming music just to get the body, mind, and heart, and soul all just in that rest state, okay, to let that imagination fly and soar. Note your sensations and your emotions and thoughts you experience when everything seems to be moving along well. Take three deep breaths and let your breathing be the anchor that reminds you of this state of consciousness. Whenever you perceive chaos around you, know that it is a mirror for your inner turmoil. When you recognize this, take three or more breaths to bring forth the memory of those moments when your life was like a symphony, then every time you exhale, you are releasing the energy of your internal state of harmony into the world, and it will have amazing effects. Amazing effects. Okay. Well, there you have it. Harmonizing with the music. All right. It soothes the savage beast. Oh, <laughs> yes, it does. Wow, that's kind of cool. And then that we have the energy of the night. And you know what? I just, because I love him so much, I just have to bring him into the adventure because it seems like for the earth sign so far, 2016 is opening up as an adventure because they want you to calm the mind and, and but yet they want you to be very creative. And that comes from intuition. So your brain, they want you to really work with it. And I, I think it's great uh, that these two readings are somewhat similar. And for some of you who, you know, have signs in both Taurus and, uh, and Capricorn, please, uh, this is for you then for sure. Let me see. I'm just trying to. Oh, here we go. Okay. Very 
Here he is. Okay, we've got him, the Knight of Wands. And then we'll pick a Archangel Oracle card to shut it down. The Knight of Wands represents the volatile and changeable nature of the element of fire. Of fire. He calls on you to invoke the fire within. Where is your sense of adventure? Perhaps you lost it somewhere along the way. It is time to find it again. The world is full of new experiences, places to see and people to meet. Now you need to stretch and challenge yourself. You are on the threshold of exciting times. The night, the night heralds a time of action, perhaps a sudden journey or a change of residence. Okay, so big changes, action, big action changes. Okay, with the night. As with the other court cards, the Knight of Wands can represent a real person who influences a change in your life. He is an extrovert, brimming with restless energy. He loves a challenge and is virtually fearless, thriving on the stimulation of danger and risk. The Knight is intelligent, witty, charming, and humorous. His ideals are very high. He is a philosopher and a seeker after truth. He is incapable of lying incapable of lying. He hates any kind of unfairness or oppression and is often something of a rebel. <laughs> the knight is a warm, generous, lovable character who makes a wise and loyal friend. Though his temper is quick to flare up if he thinks anyone is abusing his generosity. His temper is quite short-lived, however, and you would have to do something pretty bad or unjust to make an enemy of him. But if you do, he is formidable. Be warned that the Knight of Wands is a free spirit and hates to be tied down. Romantically, he is a difficult proposition. Responsibility is not a word he likes. He needs the constant stimulation of new experiences, new horizons, and new ideas. Settling down does not appeal to him. <laughs> yes, I've, I've talked about him before. He's the playboy of the court boys <laughs> of the deck. All right, but that means that, you know, for my Taurus friends here, beginning with 2016, calming down from the holidays now, really, they want you to calm down, okay? They, they truly want you to take, take a mental break, okay? Take those mental breaks. Rest on everything, you know? Think things through. Rest it down. You know, put on a little nice harmonizing music, or if you're talented to... Create your own. Maybe that's what they want you to do. Be creative, creative, okay? Go into, be, be, beseech your ancestors. Call on your ancestors. I believe in that, okay? And that justice has come through twice. That's pretty awesome, too, for the earth signs, back to back. And definitely, make your life an adventure, okay? We all deserve a fun trip. Yes, we do. <laughs> uh, right? As long as we harm none, we should be allowed to do what we wish to do. Okay. And the Archangel Oracle for Taurus friends, you know what to do. <laughs> and I must say, the Taurus usually do, you know. That's what makes you... Uh, the bull <laughs> and I speak of the bull because I speak about that Aldebaran star the largest red star that is the third eye of the Taurus so please my Taurus friends your intuition pay attention to your intuition okay because you know what to do Archangel Uriel trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay okay without delay so I gotta read this for you because you're the bull, you know. <laughs> it's wonderful. I'm, I'm kind of glad that this came out for you because you do. All right. And um, so I have many blessings to you, my, my Taurus friends, because it, it seems like you're, out, you're going, you know what to do on your adventure. Okay. And you're going to make it happen. You're going to make it happen. 
Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. You are far wiser than you realize and your inner wisdom has already given you the answers that you seek. Okay, the answers that you seek. This is really, you can tell, I'm trying to figure this out. You are far wiser than you realize and your inner wisdom has already given you the answers that you seek. Embrace this knowledge and trust it. So again, pay attention to your intuition and trust it. If your doubt will ask me to give you clear signs to validate your thoughts and ideas, I can also help you put your ideas into action and make decisions about the next steps to take. Just ask me and then be willing to work with me by taking action. Okay, and the bulls know how to take that action. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Working with Archangel Uriel. Uriel helps to illuminate cloudy situations by lighting your pathway. He usually only lights one step at a time. However, so you may not be able to do, clearly discern the ultimate outcome of your actions, but you will know what step to take next all along the way with Uriel's help. There we go. And we were talking about taking baby steps, taking baby stealth steps, okay? And they're stealth because you already know that you're working with your archangels, okay? Call on the angels. That was another theme. Talk to your angels. Talk out loud to the angels. Talk to your ancestors. Take that half an hour, an hour a day. Turn on the soothing music if you prefer. If not, in silence, talk to them and listen and write down the messages, okay? Because they are here and you know what to do. Wonderful. Be, and take those baby steps, one step at a time, and you'll know, you know, the ultimate outcome of your actions. Baby stealth steps. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, brightest blessings to you, my Taurus friends. Okay. Go get it. You know, go get what you want. You guys can make that money. And it's all about it. You're all, you know, even in the Wall Street, right? The bull, right? <laughs> anyway, but create your own. Create. This is all about you doing your own thing. We're all aligning with what our purpose is in this life, okay? And if you've come to watch videos like this, we know there is a purpose. And some of us, it's harder to find, and some of us find it later, okay? that's Some of us blossom at different times, okay? You can have young child prodigy stars, or you can have, you know, people in their... In after a hundred, these centurions now doing things in when they're a hundred years old. Fascinating. Love to you all. Blessings and make January start. Popping the ideas out, Taurus. <laughs> stay stay at peace and uh, much harmony to all of you. Ciao.